So upon deciding what to do with the living room, I wanted to have more seating around the center area that would be conducive to talking in a circle, like in a French reading salon. I intentionally did not and won't put a television in this room so that it could be used for discussion, reading, or music. Upon looking at the furniture we already have, I didn't want any dark wood because the IKEA shelving was already dark. Plus, I didn't want any brown wood right next to the shelves because I didn't want them to potentially clash in color. I had put Target contact paper at the back of the shelving, so in keeping with the gold and teal theme, I thought gold chairs would be a perfect accent. Over the past few years, the bamboo look has been gaining popularity, and I thought these finds from the Salvation Army would be perfect. They came out to $6 a piece and had cushions that weren't directly attached to the chair. Before getting started, I inspected each one for cracks and loose limbs. I used a Dollar Tree sanding block to rough them down a bit to make the paint adhere better to the wood. You can also use regular sandpaper for this from the Dollar Tree. After cleaning the chairs with a vinegar water solution and letting them dry, I used Krylon metallic spray paint and just dove right in. Make sure you use a mask. After a while, I found it easiest to spray paint using my thumb, being careful with the direction of the spray. The paint coated the chair nice and evenly and dried within minutes, but I still let them dry further overnight so I could see how the chairs looked in the daylight. After a little more paint the next morning, they were done. These pictures don't do the paint justice. They have a beautiful luster that adds a touch of elegance to the room. So incredibly beautiful for such a small amount of effort. I haven't yet found the durable teal material I want. So as a temporary measure, I used leftover teal material I already had to cover the cushions and for now use duct tape instead of staples. In our family room, I wanted additional seating because I have found I never have enough during dinners and other get-togethers. So to go along with the theme of the room, I wanted to find something from Salvation Army to fit the space with neutral colors in case I decide to change my decor in the future. I found these chairs at Salvation Army for under $19 each. I fell in love with the angular shape, plus it had good durable bones and springs. I also adored the simple yet elegant lines carved into the wood. It's so nice to find an older chair to upcycle because I feel that the quality and real wood from back in the day is so much better than most of the fake stuff that is sold these days. Since this is our forever home, I wanted to find furniture that we would use for decades. Although the beige color of the wood is nice, I felt that there wasn't enough contrast with the gold material and the beauty of the vertical design got lost. Because I eventually plan on making the material a dark gray, whether that be by painting or reupholstering, I wanted a light color for the wood. Enter the Valspar white paint left over by the previous homeowners. Super easy to use with a one inch purdy brush. I found that if I just took my time and enjoyed the process and really got to see the beautiful angles of the chair, no tape was needed and I could just paint freehand. A bit of advice though, don't be too heavy handed painting the grid part of a chair like this, otherwise paint may drip down the other side onto the fabric. Not a huge deal I know, but it still isn't pretty. After leaving overnight to dry and adding some touch ups in the morning daylight, I did a light quick layer of a clear matte spray that I already had for other crafts. Cushions were gently hand washed in very dilute soap and water, then sprayed with disinfectant. Unfortunately, the cushions of these chairs showed that they had been well loved and eventually I will get around to replacing or painting them. Yes, I did say painting as I have found tutorials online to paint fabric using a Martha Stewart fabric medium for paint. I then added a Dollar Tree floor protector pads on the bottom. All in all, I am so satisfied with these chairs. If you have done any upcycling of furniture in your home, please do let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.